you know, when you want to think of, when, when, when we look at past, and you look at where you're going, you look at where you're trying to go, and you think about all of your life goals, you look at all of your aspirations, you look at just all the things that you aspire to do. When you think about those things and you look at those things and you look at those things versus what is going on around you, where you come from, the way you grew up, uh, the kind of people that maybe seem to continue to, to gravitate back into your world, uh, situations that are difficult to get out of, to move beyond. When you look at your goals versus your challenges, Sometimes it may make you feel as though what you're striving for isn't meant or isn't for you or isn't even worth it. It's like, what am I doing all this for, right? And it makes you want to quit. It makes you want to leave it alone and just sit back and relax or just go the easy route. Just do what everybody else is doing or do better yet what everybody else around you is doing. You see, sometimes going against the current, what I would like to describe as going against the current or taking the path of, of, of most resistance, Going against the grain, moving up to ascend. To take that path has a lot of difficulty that is naturally a part of that path. Naturally goes with the signs or the nature by which that path was designed to have in it. We have to often realize that the difficulty comes with it, like working out, like changing, like just being better. If we live in a type of environment or in a home or in a culture that doesn't promote going beyond that which is you used to. You know, like if everyone is, let's say like in this barbershop, if everyone here is just cutting hair, but you got a barber who says, well, I'm, I'm going to cut hair, do women's hair, uh, dye, facials, and all that. And see, that isn't really the average norm or culture of a barbershop, especially in some of the most urban areas, or a.k.a. in some of the more hooded areas. It isn't a natural culture. So you will have many people who will find themselves uh in opposition with that environment, in opposition with that culture, telling you, you tripping, you know, mocking you, making it even more difficult than the path or just the task itself has in alignment for you. You have to understand that the difficulty is a part of it. But if it was not for the difficulty, the reward wouldn't feel as good. It wouldn't be as beautiful because it would be a normal thing. You see, the path of less resistance is a path that everybody is on. Going, going with the grain and going with the culture is something that most people would be a part of. So, it isn't as pleasurable. It's just like if everybody could wear Jordans. I'm saying you look around and you see Jordans everywhere, it wouldn't be as fly, right? You see everybody riding in the bins, it wouldn't be as popular. People like to have something that not everybody has, but to get what, what everybody doesn't have or to get what isn't as common, to get what is rare, requires a greater sacrifice. It requires more focus. It requires more determination. It requires you to deal with more. 
to suffer more and to prove yourself because that is what the suffering is. But I want you to know and understand this. There will be many things that will also cross your path that will fuel you, that will encourage you to keep going. There will be people that don't say anything, who don't like your posts, who don't congrats, don't get in the comments, but out the blue sometimes tell you, hey, I like what you're doing. I'm paying attention. I don't say much, but I hope you're serious. I hope you're doing what you are preaching. I hope that you're a real representation of the things that you talk about because I take you seriously and I'm trying to apply it to my life and I really value the things that you're producing. You know, whatever your path is, whatever your aspiration is, you will always have some people to reaffirm the truth of your path. The value in your journey and your purpose. You will have some people that are going to thank you. You're going to have some people that are going to support you. Who are going to lift you up. And let me tell you, that's just also a part of the journey. That's also a part of that path that people you're going to meet are also going to testify for you when you get to where you're going. They're going to testify from where you come from. They're going to also be there as a also like to share in the reward because the testimony is going to be vice versa. You two are witnesses to each other. But understand that you will always get the signs of the truth. And truth is a sign or a confirmation of something that exists. And so when you understand that when you come across certain signs that produce the existence of something and the existence of something is a confirmation of that truth. When you understand that and you get that, you have to smile and be grateful because you know you're headed to where you're going. Believe it or not, everything has a confirmation of the existence. People who or on the wrong path also has confirmations through people and things that it come in contact with. And so with that being said and understood, I want you to also always look for the signs that you're on the right path and be grateful when they present itself because nothing is by chance. Everything is by purpose and everything has a significant meaning and reason. We can't be so lazy in our thinking and I always say you know whatever reason that exists or whatever I met that person you know understand you meet certain people and you feel certain pains and you go through what you go through for a real significant reason the universe or God or life is trying to tell you something and you have to be humble enough to see it because Humility is a chosen position to be in. But when one is, when something is for you, and it's meant for you to receive something, then for you to receive it, sometimes you have to be forced into, humili to, into humility. And that forcing into humility is humiliation. You will be humiliated. And then at that position, you are open. To receive what is for you. To receive to get you to the next phase and level in life. But my point is to recognize the sign. We have to uh, cultivate ourselves into recognizing the signs. And, and in with doing so, eventually you will reach that point to where you can value it. And get to where you need to be as destined for you to be. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings.